Hi and welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for clicking into this video. So in this video, I am going to teach you how to fix the Uplay underscore R164 DLL is missing from your computer error. So make sure that you stay until the very end of this video so you don't miss any important step or information. And without further ado, let's get on it. So I'm going to show you different methods and how you can possibly fix this error. And the first thing that you can do is to simply install or reinstall the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package. So to, uh, the Uplay DLL error can also appear because of the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package or redistributable package. So you should check for updates and reinstall the software and use the Windows update search for this action. So when you find the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package, you can update it or remove the updated version and reinstall the program. So here are the step-by-step -step guide on how you can do that. So first, just press the key windows with the logo or the key with the Windows logo on your keyboard and simply select control panel and look through the categories and click onto the install section. So just check the version of Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable and you can uninstall the older version. So just repeat the installation with the rest of the Microsoft Visual C++ redistribut redistributable and you can install it um, into the 2015 redistribution update 3 from the official Microsoft website. And after downloading the installation file, just run it and install it on your PC. And after that, just reboot the computer after the successful installation. And if this method does not help, just check to the next step, which is to reinstall the program. So once a particular program starts to fail due to the missing DLL file, reinstall the program so that the problem is safely resolved. And again, if this method does not help, what you can do lastly is to scan your system for malware and viruses. So System File Checker or SFC is a utility in Windows that allows users to scan for corruptions in Windows system files and restore them. So this tutorial describes how to run the System File Checker tool. So to scan your system file and repair missing or corrupted system system files including the dll file so if a windows resource protection file is missing or corrupted windows might not behave as expected so for example some windows functions might not work or windows might crash so the sfc scan now option is one of the several specific switches available with the sfc command so the command prompt command used to run system file checker and to run it first just open your command prompt by first typing the command prompt or first typing the command prompt in search and right click on to the command prompt and then select run as administrator so from the drop down menu to run the command prompt with administrator privileges so you must run an elevated command prompt to able to perform as as perform a sfc scan so these are the steps that you need to do so first just run a full system scan at the expense of an antivirus program and just do not rely on Windows Defender. So it is better to uh, to choose additional antivirus programs in parallel. And after a threat is detected, you need to reinstall the program that shows in this notification. So in most cases, you need to reinstall the program so that the problem immediately disappears. So just try to perform a restore at system startup of all the above steps right here. And as a last resort, or tr again, try to perform a restore system at startup if the above steps didn't help. And as a resort, reinstall your Windows operating system. And in the command prompt window, just simply type SFC slash scan now and press enter on your keyboard to execute this command. So system file checker will start and should take some time to complete the scan. It takes about 15 minutes. So just wait for the scanning process to complete and restart the computer to see if you still receive. The program can restart because of the Uplay R164 DLL is missing from your computer error. And so that's it for this video. Those are some methods that you can do if you're having this error right here. So I hope this video helped you. And if it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button so you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.